This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. Okay, I just couldn't resist. If I don't get this question asked to me at least three times a day, I feel like something's wrong. Andy, how do you do that really cool Star Wars text? You know, where it kind of fades off into the star field kind of thing. All the Star Wars movies has that at the beginning, and it's just so cool. Good news and bad news. Which one do you want to hear first? Let's start with the bad news. You really can't do that in Final Cut Pro. You can change some perspective, but it really doesn't flatten the text out. It really doesn't look good. If you've got motion with the Final Cut Pro Studio, you can do it in motion quite well. But there's a program we all have because we're Mac people. It's called iMovie. Now I know you turn up your nose at iMovie because we got Final Cut Pro, but iMovie's got some pretty cool features in it. So let's start building here. Let's go to our blank sequence and let's go ahead and start building it up. This time I tell you what, that was Vincent Van Gogh's Starry Night, just to have a little fun. I actually do have a still that actually is a starry sky. And let's bring that down here. And there's a starry sky for you. Let's make that a little bit longer. Here's our music up here. Let's go ahead and drag our theme down, the Star Wars theme. What do we do? What I want you to do is open up iMovie. Once you get into iMovie, I want you to go to the pull-down menu at the top, go to the word Window, and then scroll down to Titles. It'll open up a titling window. One of the titling window features is, and I love this, Far, Far Away. Select that one and add your text and save it. That's all you have to do. What I've got over here is my Star Wars text. This is the video I saved with iMovie. I'm going to drag it down here on top. Now we'll need to make this bigger, obviously, because our text is bigger. And as you can see, there it is. Now we have two problems. One of the problems is, is that nice big black box. Now we're going to solve that with compositing. So we're going to select the Star Wars text that I made in iMovie. And we're going to right click our mouse and we're going to go down to composite mode and choose screen. Screen means get rid of the blacks. There we are. It's up a little bit too far. Now in the past, in all these other lessons, what I've done is I've double clicked on it here and I've gone into the features like motion. You don't have to do that really. See this button right here? Click this button. We are on an option called image. Change that to image plus wireframe and watch what happens. You no longer need to go to motion up there. You can move it around, do anything you want with it right here. So let's go ahead and pull that down to here because I want the text to kind of be coming up from the bottom of the screen. It'll end somewhere around here. We use the composite mode to get rid of the black. Let's check this thing out and see what it does. Let's go to the beginning and try it out. Star Wars themed text, thanks to iMovie, Final Cut Pro, and George Lucas at Industrial Light Magic. Pretty cool.